Hey guys, I'm in protective styling mode right now and I've got another really easy one for you which can be worn two ways for all your versatility needs. All right, so let's get started. I'm starting out on blown out hair. You can use my heatless blowout method. I actually blew my hair out with a blow dryer for the first time in a really long time. And I know I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I have a lot of breakage in the crown, and so I really wanted to make sure that it was nice and smooth and straight for this video so that the style would look more cohesive. But if I wasn't recording and posting the style, I really wouldn't care about the curliness and I would probably just use my heatless blowout because it's safer. So starting out, I'm creating a large section in the middle. So I'm gonna part my hair starting at the temples and going all the way back. Now just make this as neat as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Starting at my temples, I'm going to part my hair from the front all the way to the back. And these lines don't have to be perfect. They're not really gonna be too visible. And then clip the rest of the hair out of the way. Okay, so now once you have your huge middle section, you're gonna split that in half as well. And I already have a perfect <laughs> middle part here, but you can go ahead and make one for yourself. And I'm gonna work one side at a time. And I'm gonna create a flat twist going from the front to the back, adding in small sections of hair as I go. And try not to pull the twist too tight. You really want this to look nice and fluffy. Once there's no more hair to add, just twist like normal. And when you reach the end, just let it go so it can fluff back up and get nice and full. All right, now release the other side and repeat the same process. We're gonna create another flat twist working from front to back, adding in small sections of hair as we go. And again, you're not gonna wanna pull too tight on this twist. You want it to be nice and fluffy. And when you reach the end, let it go. We're gonna get to work on our side sections next. So release a section. We're gonna focus on that front section in front of your ear first. So we're gonna create a part going from the top and down to the ear, clipping the rest of the hair out of the way. So now I'm gonna part this section to create two halves, one on top and one on the bottom, and then clip the top half out of the way. So here we're gonna create another tiny little flat twist working from the front to back, adding in small sections of hair at a time. Now once there's no more hair to add, we're gonna stop and clip the rest out of the way. You don't wanna twist all the way to the bottom. We're gonna release the top section and repeat the same process. Create a flat twist working from front to back, adding in small sections of hair at a time. And you wanna make sure you're always creating your twists so that they're facing upwards rather than downwards so that you can see the texture. So when there's no more hair left to add, we're gonna combine these two twists. So release the hair in the back release that bottom twist. And first we wanna anchor the twist so that it holds its position. So twist in a bit of the hair from the top section in the back first, and then twist in that hair from the bottom twist. Now just continue adding hair from the back like normal to make one giant flat twist going back. And you're gonna do the same thing as before, just adding in small sections at a time, trying not to twist too tight. So when there's only a little bit of hair left to add, we're gonna combine these two larger twists together. So grabbing that twist in the back, unravel it about halfway up. You're gonna combine the two open sections from the back twist into the two open sections from the front twist. Once they're combined, just continue adding hair from the bottom and twist like normal. Once there's no more hair left to add, just keep twisting down like normal all the way to the very end and then you can let it go so it can get nice and fluffy. And that's it. So now we're gonna repeat the same process to the other side. Create a front section by parting the hair from the top going down to the ear. We're gonna split that hair in half horizontally, clipping the top half out of the way. Working the bottom half first, flat twist it back, adding in small sections at a time. And when there's no more hair left to add, just clip it out of the way. And repeat the same thing to the top half. 
Once you've reached the end of the section, release the hair, twist in a small section of hair from the top of the back section to anchor the twist, and then twist in that bottom twist to combine them together. Now just continue adding in hair like a normal flat twist. When there's only a little bit of hair left to add, we're gonna combine the front and the back flat twist together. So grabbing that back twist first, we're gonna unravel the twist about halfway, and we're gonna twist the two open sections from the back twist into the two open sections of the front twist. And then just add the rest of the hair in like a normal flat twist. Now just keep twisting like normal all the way to the bottom and then release the twist so it can get some volume. That's it, here's the first way to wear this protective style as two twisted pigtails. It's a laid back look that's cute and a little bit edgy. All right, so here's a second style if you're needing a more formal look. Grabbing one twist at a time, we're gonna pull it in the opposite direction in the back tucking it into the opposite twist and securing with the body pin. Now repeat on the other side. Grab the twist, pull it gently in the opposite direction in the back, tuck it into the opposite twist, and secure it with the bobby pin. And use as many pins as you need. I only ended up needing three to secure this in place. And now you have a really classic formal look that can be dressed up or down. And it makes a great style for work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this versatile protective style. It's really cute and comfortable to wear and it's really easy to put together. I hope you give it a try. And if you do, don't forget to show me on social media so I can see all your recreations. All right guys, I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next one. If you missed my last video, it was a technique to get a really fluffy and moisturized afro. You can click the link on top if you wanna check that out. And if you're into daily vlogs, you can click the link on the bottom to come hang out with me and the family. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.